Hey guys, this is Mel Turkla from Pocket Up, and today I'm going to do a video on our Pocket Up Terrier Patrol Pack. That's right here. It's uh, running on 19 inch stays on the frame. I designed this for simplicity, durability, and comfort. So simplicity wise, uh, this is Alice Pack Simple. It's a top loader, it's stuff and go. There are absolutely no zippers on this pack. Uh, it's all 1000D Cordura. It's got double layered bottom. Uh, the sides have side flat bellowed pockets, as you'll see uh, in a minute what they can turn into. But right now, as you can see on the sides here, it's just a flat profile on the sides that actually turns into a bellowed side pocket. Uh, on the front, we have six channels across, nine rows of PALS webbing going up the front. We have five rows of PALS webbing on the top lid. We have tab loops up here to run our pods or to lash gear like sleeping pad, pads too. Uh, the bottom, we have tab loops on the bottom again to run our pods or lash items too on the bottom. Uh, around this side here, you can see we've got 3 8 inch EVA closed cell foam padded shoulder straps. Our back panel is 1050D ballistic nylon. It's dual density foam. Closed cell foam topped with open cell foam. The waist belt is removable on here so you can run it with or without the waist belt. Uh, a little bit later here I'll pop open this and show you the internal features. But right now you can see this is a pretty pretty compact package 19 inches tall uh, now let me show you the same pack without adding pockets and it's loaded up and with the side pockets Let's put this down for a minute whoops sorry about that okay here's the exact same pack our Terrier patrol pack here you can see it's loaded up you can see all the rows of piles webbing here now I've got the bellowed side pockets that are flat when you're not using them but you can see what they can hold here to increase capacity these are integrated right into the pack themselves they don't take uh, you don't have to add pockets to it or anything these actually you know come with the pack like you saw in the previous uh, pack that I had uh, that was loaded down this one happens, happens to be loaded up let me put a side-by-side -side comparison here so you can really see the difference it's the same pack but you can see when it's loaded down it's very low profile small package but this is what it's capable of over here with the uh, side pockets bellowed out and loaded and the pack actually loaded up uh, show you around in the front here again you can see right here the waist belts are removed now so it's shoulder load only and uh, this works great especially if you're running any kind of belt order web gear and you don't need a waist belt you can just take remove the waist belt right off now speaking of the waist belt I've got a waist belt here that I want to show you. Here's our waist belt, our pocket up waist belt. As you can see, it's quarter inch EVA closed cell foam, very low profile, it, but it is designed to wrap the iliac crest. And that's what's really important and what gives it the comfort. You can see the shape here. You can see right here, it's not a flat waist belt, it's just not a flat piece of material. And then foam shoved into it. It's actually constructed and sewn so it has a curve here and it actually curves like this and actually wraps the iliac crest. Um, the good majority of waist belts out there, again, they're just foam thrown, thrown in to flat fabric, you know, and you wrap around and sure, they'll, they'll make thicker foam or whatever and it feels real comfy, but it's not actually doing the wrap over your iliac crest and locking the belt in and supporting your full load of the pack. The inside of the waist belt, we're using Tweev 520E four-way stretch. Uh, very effective. The waist belt itself has fouls webbing on the waist belt. And uh, it's just a Velcro right here that goes inside, you know, the uh, lumbar sleeve on the pack. So it's locked in there solid. Now let me show you some of the internal features here. Take this guy out right here, pick it up. I'll flip it out here so you can see. Our top lid is a full Velcro field here. So you can run Velcro back pockets. It makes it great for organizing 
smaller items to get to really quick. You just click out, flip it back, access your pockets right here. It's got a roll top right here top. Now I'll show you, it's got a bladder compartment to stay. Let me just pull all this junk out of here just like the old days when I used to give demos with packs. I wanna get all this out of here. I think that's enough there. I'll have Rena come in a little closer here so you can actually see the inside right here. Here's the bladder pocket right here. It's right here, it's, it, it's adjustable here to cinch it down nice and tight right here. It just comes right out of here with a G hook. There you go, open up the bladder pocket. And then right here, this other one here is a hanger for a, to hang the bladder. You can just hook a bladder on, it's got hooks, so you can take this off, run it through, hook the bladder right there. So both of those right there, whoops, combined right there. It's just keep your bladder nice and snug right there. Here we've got the stays. The stays are 19 inch stays. Remove them that easy. And that's another uh, advantage with aluminum stays, not just plastic sheets or whatever. You can actually adjust that bend and get the pack to fit your back absolutely perfect. You know, just by bending the stays to get a perfect fit. Uh, I think that probably went over everything. Uh, this is a part one of the uh, Terrier Patrol Pack uh, video. So part two, I'm gonna show how you can set it up, all the different pocket configurations using the Velcro field here, using the pallet webbing here, tab loops on the top and bottom. So that'll be the next video. So I hope also, that works, guys. You have hey. the port for the for your hydration hose. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, Rena just reminded me she's shooting the film. You know, this is <laughs> this is a non-scripted film here, as you can probably tell. But yeah, there's a hose port right here for the hose to come out. And on the side pocket. Right, right here, we've got a Velcro tab right here that you can switch out to either side uh, to control the hose. You can secure the hose and... Also on the side pockets. Yeah, and on the side pockets, side pockets, and the front straps here, and the upper sho shoulder strap webbing right here. It's all elastic keepers. There's hydration ports on the side pockets. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Rena's showing me here. <laughs> It's kind of a funky video, guys, but you'll get to see it all here, though. <laughs> on the inside pocket here, let me see if I can show you this right here. There's actually a port on the inside pocket here that you can run your bladder, your hose through from the bladder. You can run a bladder in here and you run your hose right out through here. Because I forgot to tell you, this is a through and through pocket. There you go, right here. It's a through and through pocket. Uh, so you'll behind get this. Behind the pocket. Yeah, behind this through. pocket is a through and through pocket. You know, right here where you'll be able to put fishing poles. Uh, hiking poles, uh, even rifles down through behind this pocket. And we've got another pocket that'll actually catch the butt, but I'll get into that on the next video. So now I think I've covered everything on the Terrier Patrol bag, guys. Uh, stay tuned for the next one on all the pocket configurations.